so um, my name's Kat. I'm um, body painting by Kat, but I'm also uh, the lead artist for Paintopia, the fantastic face and body painting festival in Norfolk, UK, run by Jenny Roberts, Paintopia Jen, as you can see up on the uh, body boards that we've designed together with the fab wipeable practice boards. So this is the front of the body board. Um, as you can see, it's actually see-through. I just got it on a sheet of sort of creamy coloured paper at the moment, just because otherwise I get the table showing through. Um, what I'm hoping to do, if the kids give me a chance, <laughs> is to shoot a few demos just showing why I love them so much, why I thought this was such a good idea, and how I've already started using this. Now, just to tell you to begin with, um, this was previously used for a very quick five minute sketch of uh, a bright pink tiger, tiger with, um, it had blue stripes done in that gorgeous chameleon paint ink heart which is a very highly pigmented stunning sort of purpley blue which would usually stain like mad. I haven't even, as the care sheets for these boards suggested as yet, I haven't even washed it with, um, she says like a gentle brush and some um, washing up liquid. This was just baby wipes and a bit of soap and water I think and it has all gone and it also had glitter tattoo and bling on it as well, liquid bling glitter. And as you can see, it's just wiped away beautifully. So it's already better than the fake practice skin that I used to have. Um, I actually got rid of my practice head and the practice skin because it's so unrealistic and it's stained like mad and it was a pain to keep scrubbing it clean with all different products. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just have a few quick doodles on this, uh, just some Christmassy ideas. I am hoping to do some of these as a body at some point. So I'm going to shut up and I'm just going to doodle. It's mainly chameleon paints that I'm using. I've got ooh, some rather sticky line white. Um, that, oh actually now that might be, that'll probably be either Grimace or Paradise white which is what I tend to use for my base white. Um, that's a mix of a couple of chameleon reds. That's, I think that's a Paradise lime green, two different chameleon greens. I've got some liquid blings and I've got lots of one strokes over here which again are mainly chameleon with the old tag and party explosion and ones like that thrown in as well. These stencils I got from a very nice lady I found on eBay in Canada and that is one of the hot wings stencils from BAM. I might use it, I might not. I do like using stencils on my body paint because they do add a lot of detail. Now, as you can see, this is a bit smaller than a body, but it's still an awful lot bigger than the sketchbooks I tend to use. I tend to have little tiny sketch pads like this, and I'm pretty bad, I must admit, at sketching for clients. Um, they tend to get, if they're lucky, a biro scribble. Um, which is the way I work, and I have been wanting to change it, but I just so rarely have time to go and sort of get a big book of paper out and get on with it. But this is so easy to clean, so easy to use. I've just got it sort of stood against the side of the wall here beside the kitchen table. And I have found myself actually just grabbing it out when I get a spare five minutes and just doing a few little ideas for clients. Now we haven't bothered um, getting the heads on this, drawn on this, A, to make it bigger for the body space. The body's a little bit larger than it could be if you had the head drawn on here as well because you can always get already get a huge range of beautiful faces um, child size and sort of unisex adult size in various different formats from fab wipeable boards which I've already got one I'll get that out later and show you so I really wouldn't worry about that you can get those separately and use them for your face painting designs you can of course just attach it to the top here if you're wanting to display this when it's finished it's got a slightly textured surface this special coating, whatever it is. Top secret, apparently. Um, and it does make it just a little bit better than those fake skin slabs you get. It's not so shiny and unrealistic. So I am getting quite a nice little skin-like texture there. Um, and at the end of this, I'm either gonna scan this or take a good picture. And of course, if you're going along to a competition or whatever, rather than having a mood board, I guess, you could do this because we have found um, some of the sort of art-based or art background body paint artists 
they do do mood boards and things like that, which I must admit, I, I don't really do mood boards, I'll have an inspiration board, there'll usually be some pictures or a pattern or something that inspires my body paints and I'll tend to print them off on a couple of A4 sheets. But we um, have found, Jenny and I are lucky enough to judge the war paint body painting competitions at Professional Beauty London Excel and Professional Beauty North and it's part of their judging requirements that the, the, um, the artists, whether they're students or professionals, have to show their work, um, what inspired it, what the drawing was like, um, and they have to have quite a detailed mood board. I'm not being too careful about going over the lines. Now we went for specifically a unisex body, so it's just got a couple of little hints as to where stuff is and of course when you are actually painting people they're all different shapes and sizes and proportions but this just will really help you set out things. So that's a white base on, found the one that I want, or what's left of it, which is a colour block Elney from Chameleon. I think I'm going to base this very vaguely on a traditional sort of Norwegian jumper. I think that might be the way to do it. They have those um, very intricate sort of knitted details. Let's do it more or less across the nipple, I think. And where the nipples would be. And I'm going to stick to red, white and pink, I think. 